Hi there! Today we are going to talk about Astro Islands and Nano Stars. This video is for Astro developers who already built some static websites like blogs, portfolios, marketing pages, and want to add interactivity to the pages. By default, Astro outputs only HTML with no JavaScript. But sometimes you need to add interactivity to your pages. This is where comes the concept of Astro Islands. With Astro Islands, you choose which components need to become interactive and when those components need to become interactive. For example, on your pages, you may have a navbar with menus and you want these menus to be clickable as fast as possible. One issue you may encounter with Astro Islands is sharing state across components because you should think about Astralians as totally independent applications. If you are using React with Astro, you may think, can I use React Context with Astralians? The short answer is no, you cannot use React Context to share state across components. But today, I will show you how to do that, not with React Context, but with Nanostores. I built an e-commerce website with Astro and React. You can see the page for products and there is a button to add products to the cart. But currently, if we click on it, we cannot see the products count incremented. Our job for today is to make it work. The component for the navbar is app navbar. In this React component, I declared a constant which is called cart. This variable holds the cart, all the selected products. I use this variable to loop over it to compute the product count. This is this product count that is displayed at the top right corner of the website near this icon, little bag icon. The app navbar is an Australian that is declared in the global layout of my application with client load directive, which means that the component is hydrated as fast as possible. But there is another component that matters to us today, it's product page add to cart. This component holds the button that is used to add products to the cart, this add to cart component. When this button is clicked, this mutation is called and this fetch operation will be performed. It will send the selected product to the backend and the backend returns to us the new cart. Her objective for today is to use this unsuccess callback to send the new cart to the navbar. We want to make both components communicate with each other, but how do we do that? Now that we know what we need to do, we are starting to code. So first, I'm going to create a new file and I will put this file in a directory I will call shared, but you can really put this file wherever you want in your architecture. The only thing that matters is that you create a JavaScript file, TypeScript file, and in my case, I will call it card.ts. In this file, I import from nanostars a function called atom. Then I create a variable called dollar cart, which is an atom, and I type the value of the atom to be an array of cart item. I give a default value to the atom. So what is an atom? And what is Nanostars? Nanostars is a thin library to create reactive values. The Atom is the most basic type of reactive value you can create with Nanostars. And in my case, um, I create a reactive value cart, dollar cart. The dollar comes from, I think, a pattern from RxJS library. Uh, you, yes reactive values are at the earth of RxJS and I think that these patterns 
has been chosen by NanoStars because you create reactive things here too. So the cart is a reactive value that has some things we, ma we care. For example, there is a get function to return the current value of the store, and there is a set function to set the value of the atom, and finally, a subscribe function. With the subscribe function, you can let other parts of the code listen to the changes of the atom. This is really important because now we will be able to listen to the changes of the cart on other components and all components should be updated when the cart changes. But first, let's first export this because we want to access the cart from the outside of the file and we want to create a function called setCart. This function takes a cart, which is an array of cart items, and it's going to call cart.set to be cart. So first, first thing has been done. Now we can go to app navbar and I import useStore function from nanostars react. Ustore from NanoStars React. NanoStars React is an adapter for NanoStars made for React. NanoStars has adapters for all major uh, UX frameworks like Vue or React, Svelte, Solid, etc. And these adapters are really thin because I imported the Ustore function, but there is only two other things that are exported by it and these are types, so really thin wrapper. Now the useStore function, we can use it to redeclare the cat variable to be useStore called on the cart. And now the cart is still a cart item array and we should be able to have an in um, a meaningful looping on the cart to produce a product count that changes over time. So now we also need to go to product page add to cart. There we need to set the value of the cart, dollar cart, when um, the server returns to us the new cart items. So let's do um, set carts. If I go to the browser now, I think it should work. So let's reload. And now if I click on add to cart button, I expect the product count to be incremented by one. Yes, perfect. It works thanks to NanoStars and NanoStars React. Now when we click on the add to cart button, we can increment the product count. It works. but. I'm not totally satisfied because I would like an animation to make it more visible, more cool. I want the bag icon and the product count text to become purple for 2 seconds after the cat is updated. After these 2 seconds, um, the text will be grey again, but for 2 seconds I want it to be purple. Let's go back to the code to implement this. So I create a new constant called cart animation. It will be an atom of boolean type and it will default to the default value. When I set the cart, I want to set the animation to be true. And then two seconds later, I want to go back to a false value. Okay. Now let's go to the navbar and let's declare cart animation equals use store cart animation create and now I need to scroll to the place where um, the bag icon and the product count text are defined. Um, this is there. Shopping bag icon coming from Hero Icons library for React and we will apply this um, text indigo class from Tailwind CSS when um, 
the animation happens. So let's replace this with cat animation equals true. Nice. Let's go back to the browser. And now if I add to the cart product, we should see the subtle animations at the top right corner of the page. Yes, it works. And two seconds later, after the animation starts, um, we go back to the gray state. It works. Then you may find some bugs if you, if you test more thoroughly. And these bugs are race conditions, to be honest. So if I click to add multiple products, you will see that. I added six products, but the animation ended after, um, yes, two seconds, to be honest. It ended really fast. I continue to add products, but it doesn't report, it doesn't um, add more delay to uh, the timer. And this is not what we want. We want to continue the animation until uh, we stop clicking. How do we fix this race condition with timers? We go back to the card file and we will mm, modify the cat animation. We don't want to just store whether we are animating or not, but we want to store another thing. We want to store first is animating, which is a boolean, and what matters now is that we want to store the timer ID of the previous timer. We want to clear any previous timer before starting a new one, so that we will see this debouncing pattern. We will see that um, if we keep clicking to add products, the animation will remain. And this is what we want, because I think it's better to, uh, to the eye. So let's include another property called timer ID, which is a number or an F line. We need to modify the default value and set the timer ID to an F5. Now we will move that down. First, I create a timer. And even before, I want to clear the previous timer. Cut animation gets and timer ID. So I use for the first time. Uh, the get me fold, um, it returns the current value of the atom. This is pretty neat, uh, but be careful, this is a synchronous call. So um, I think you may prefer to use subscribe function, which is used uh, underlying by the use store hook from uh, NanoStore's React, uh, because with the get function, you get only the current value, not um, the future modification. But in this case, we want the current value, so this is what we want. So let's get this, and please note that the timer ID may be undefined. But that's not a problem for the clear, for the clear timeout value, because it accepts undefined. It will just do nothing. So we create the next timer, and we will set it to the star First, is animating true and the timer ID. When the timer ends, set is animating to false and timer ID to false, to undefined, sorry. So that's better. And now we need to go back to the null bar because this is no longer valid. We need to use is animating property. So now, we should see the debouncing pattern. Each time we click to add a product, it should create a new timer and the delay should be, uh, you know, created again. We should always see this purple background uh, unless we stop clicking on the button. So let's try. I keep clicking and you see the animation doesn't end. It will end two seconds later, I stop clicking. So stop and it just stops after two seconds. Sharing state that way across Astro Islands was possible because we relied on a fundamental of JavaScript. Um, this fundamental is that 
all JavaScript model is instantiated once. You can import a um, JavaScript model several times, thousand times, um, it doesn't matter. There is only a single instance. So we can use this instance from several components in our application, um, shared across different Australians, it will work. Um, so great to use this in your Astro projects and nano stores is um, to me really interesting because it's a lightweight library that provides um, reactive values to JavaScript and then you can use this reactive values in whatever framework you are using. So if you use React.js and Vue.js in your Astro application, you can combine them because uh, uh, NanoStores provides um, adapters for these frameworks. And because we use the same Atom, you know, um, you can synchronize frameworks that way. Pretty cool. Um, NanoStores is great because it's not just for reactive values. Uh, as you could see, uh, we implemented something not trivial. We orchestrated states with timers and Yes, NanoStores was great at this. So please check NanoStores for your next project. And now you know how to solve this sharing state problem across Australia. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.